Today, we're gonna to talk about burnout and how we can avoid it in the post-production sound industry. Those of us who are climbing the ladder and navigating our own journey can often feel overwhelmed with all the hustle. Well, if that's you, friend, today I wanna to share with you 10 tips, 10 areas where you can improve to avoid burnout as you navigate the post-production sound industry. Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of Mastering Post-Production Sound. My name is Joel. I'm a sound re-recording mixer, been part of the post-production sound industry for the past 16 years, and I'm here to help you navigate the murky waters of the post-production sound industry. Friends, today we're gonna dive into 10 areas that I truly believe we should be working on to bring balance as we navigate the ups and downs of the post-production sound industry. As you know, I am a huge believer in the holistic approach of navigating the industry. This is not a place where we're going deep on EQ, right? Or compression or reverb, things like that. We are all about taking care of the whole person here. I'm a true believer that when we take care of our mental, emotional, spiritual, physical well-being, that we are, in fact, better creatives. We can come and sit in the mixing console or sit in front of our Pro Tools and design any aspect of the post-production sound industry and bring our best creative self when we're taking care of ourselves. I recently discovered a video and I really, I really loved it. It was by a guy named Kerry Jack and Kerry Jack has a site, a website called The Happy Hustle. And I really found these principles to be so transferable to our industry. And I think it's something that we can all, especially if we're on the verge of burnout, because friends, we know this industry sometimes can be really overwhelming. And as we're you know, constantly putting time into this industry, we can really lose ourselves and not take care of our self-care, which in turn, we burn out, we, you know, our immunity gets down, we get sick. It's just, it's not good. When I discovered these 10 that I'm about to share with you, these 10 areas that we can focus on that I think we should be improving on daily, it's going to help you navigate this industry with, more purpose with more fulfillness and you're going to be fulfilled and you're not going to be burned out what i learned here was it's basically an acronym and i want you to take this assessment too i want you to ask yourself am i showing up in these areas and if we show up in these specific areas we are going to have so much more to give to our industry to our jobs to our pursuit of our career here we go uh, soul mapping, right? So acronym. So ac acronym. Okay, I can't say it right today. Uh, so number one, the S. Let's start with the S of soul mapping. And the S stands for selfless service. Are we giving back? I love this idea of selfless service. What does that really mean? That means giving back without any expectation of something coming back to us. It is so important that we ask ourselves, how are we showing up in this area of selfless service? Are we giving back? And for us in this industry, it's like, are we giving back to others? Are we investing in others? It, there's something that happens when we give without expecting anything in return. I loved that. So ask yourself, are, are we giving back? Are we selflessly serving others? Let me tell you how selflessly serving others in this industry does wonders for you. If we take the heart of service into everywhere we go in this industry, people will recognize it. Friends, we are in the client service industry. Really, we're serving our clients. So if I want to I want to challenge you to ask yourself, how am I serving selfishly? Selfishly, selfishly. <laughs> selflessly uh, my clients, my coworkers, other peers in the sound industry, and then ask yourself: Could I get a little better? Could I do? Could I show up a little bit better in this area? I highly recommend that, and this is one area that will definitely help us as we navigate the industry. The second one is um, O: optimized health. This is taking care of our 
mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being. Are we doing that? I want to I want to ask you, ask yourself, assess over your career, wherever you are, if you're just starting out or you've been around in the industry for quite some time, are you optimizing your health in all those areas? Do you need to take some time to get out there and and move your body to take care of your physical health? Maybe, I mean, I know for myself, I've had moments on dub on dubs when I've been part of projects that I don't eat well, you know, and I'm gaining a little weight that I shouldn't, you know. So are we taking care of our health? Are we taking care of our emotions? You know, I'm a huge, you know, advocate for therapy. If you've never tried it, try it. You do not need permission to take care of yourself, friend. So optimizing our health and taking care of all of those areas, having people to talk to, you know, having a network of close individuals that you can confide in when you know things get overwhelming in this industry, it's it's paramount. Taking care of our health. So optimize health. The second step in this, make sure, ask yourself, are you optimizing your health? Are there areas that you can be better at? Can we take more time for our emotional, mental well-being, for our physical and spiritual well-being? Can we? So if you are, write that down. Maybe today is the day you start to take care of your health. And that's really important in our industry, especially when we're spending as many hours as we do with our crazy schedules. Friends, it's time to start putting our health at the forefront of everything we do. Take care of yourself, friend. Okay, the third one of the 10 is you, and it stands for unplug digitally. My friend, we need to come up with a digital budget. How many times are we on our phones? I am totally guilty of that, and at times often more than others. There's so much that's happening right now in the world. And sometimes just taking a break digitally from, you know, all the noise is a very good thing. So I want to encourage you to look at where you are when it comes to your digital footprint, to your digital activity. What the digital world and attention does for us is it it really can introduce this compare and despair mental attitude. And friends, I've been there. You know, I've been there comparing myself to my colleagues, to other people. I've also been there where I've been like, oh, things are not good right now. And it can introduce this real negative self-talk. So take a look at how you are operating in your digital world. Is it time to hit a digital reset? Time to take a little digital fast, perhaps? Friends, I took six years off of social media, and boy, it was some of the best time I've ever had and some of the, the biggest personal growth that I've ever had. So take a look. Do you need to take a break? Do you need to implement small breaks uh, throughout your week? This component can definitely help us move forward and become our better selves as we pursue our career in the post-production sound industry. The fourth one is so L, so soul, we have soul so far, love and relationships. Friends, how are you showing up in your relationships, in your love life, right? I mean, might be some, this may not apply to those who are not in romantic relationships, but what about your relationships as a whole? It's really important that we take an assessment and see where we are are with our love and our relationships. You know, for me, I'm going on, this year will be 20 years of marriage for my for my wife and I. And I trust me, we have had ups and downs throughout the the ups and downs of the, the uh, post-production sound industry. So she's been my biggest supporter. But it's work, friends. You must work on your relationships. And when we in this industry are going and going and going with the hours that we can have and the projects that we can have, you know, right? Those of you who've been in this industry for a long time, you know it puts a strain on our relationships. So we must pause and we must ask ourselves, how are we showing up to our loved ones? Whether whether you're in a relationship or not, you know, how are you showing up to your family, to those who close, your close dear friends, you know? It's always a good idea to take an assessment to see, hey, are there areas, relationships that I need to reassess and maybe put a little bit more effort in, you know, for someone who's in a relationship, maybe it's, you know, couples therapy or anything like that, or just spending time really with those we love. 
it's a good idea to take an assessment and see where we're at because maybe it is that we need to spend some more time going out to dinner or, or just being in close proximity, playing a game, doing something you know together. It's one of those things that often can get really affected and impacted when we are gone a lot. I see my post sound teams more than I do see my family when we're really you know in a big project. And so it's important, you know, I have to reassess every now and then, how am I showing up at home in my relationships? So uh, I love this one, love and relationships. How are you doing with that? The next one is M in soul mapping, and that stands for mindful spirituality. How is your spiritual life? You know, for me, you know, our spiritual life is a very personal thing. You know, I have my own personal uh, faith, and I'm never going to tell you what you should believe or not, but I do believe that we should be looking at how we're connecting spiritually. Are we taking time to meditate? Maybe it's prayer. And what does that look like if we look and search out to improve our spiritual life. I really do believe in spiritual wellness. We should be taking time to connect spiritually. Improving that aspect of our life helps us be a better creative. And if you are having trouble connecting spiritually, just take a second and think, what can I improve on? Could I take some time to meditate? Can I take some time to pray? Whatever it may be, you know, whatever a form of faith you may have. So connecting with the higher power is so important, connecting with that source so that in essence we connect and then it comes out in what we do creatively. And the next category I want to talk about is abundance financially. A, right, in the soul mapping. A, abundance financially. How are we showing up with our personal finances, with our investments? It's a good idea to take a look. If we never pay attention to this stuff, it's going to get out of control, right? So there is this idea that we should be showing up well when it comes to our finances, right? I've been there living paycheck to paycheck, right? And my family and I, we put in the time, we worked really hard for like seven, eight years to get completely debt free. So the freedom that comes with that is is an indescribable feeling. So as we're pursuing the post-production sound industry and we're, we're, we're making our way through this journey, it's a good idea to ask ourselves, how are we showing up financially? Are we taking some of what we make and are we investing it? You know, are we giving some to charities? You know, because I'm a true believer in generosity and uh, giving back. Think about it. If it's been a while since you've kind of reviewed where you're at, it might be a good idea to pause and see how you can improve when it comes to finances. The next one is P and that stands for personal development. Friends, if you've been following me for any amount of time, you know how much I believe in personal development. It's not necessarily getting to that, you know, the success pinnacle goal. It's who we are becoming in the process. And so much of what we do in this industry could benefit from some personal development. You think about some of the most successful people in all the industries that that are out there. The people who are performing at their peak, that top one to three percent, always go back to personal development. They're always doing something to get better. So I wanna introduce to you the 30-30-30 rule, right? And this is spending 30 minutes on reading something that's gonna improve you as a person, 30 minutes of listening to something that will improve your life, and 30 minutes of watching something. So spending 30 minutes throughout your day reading listening or watching something that's going to help you improve, whether it's motivational content or how to grow your business or how to get better at what we're doing in the post production sound industry. Try following that rule. Think about it. Assess where you're at right now. Could you benefit from putting a little bit of effort into personal development? I'm a huge fan of it, friends. I'm a huge fan about what the process of trying to achieve our goals does for us. I think it's Jim Rohn, the motivational speaker who talks about, you know, work and how all work is good work because that work is either going to work on us or we're going to work on it. So go to work on yourself, 
friend. You have everything inside you to achieve your goals and dreams. We just need to take time to actually grow and put some effort into some personal development. So assess where you're at and see if putting some time into personal development might fit for you. The next one is another P, this is for passionate hobbies. One thing we could do to avoid burnout in this industry is find a hobby. Hobbies are fun. Hobbies should be things that are not related in our industry whatsoever. So we can have that kind of disassociation. We can kind of detach. So if you don't have a hobby, find a hobby, friend. The next one is impactful work. And let me break this down a little bit. You know, what what kind of problems are out there that need solving? I believe that we should all have a little bit of effort that is put into this idea of like, how can I do some impactful work? Whether that is helping um, less privilege, if it's mentoring and going out and speaking to, to students, but it can it doesn't have to be associated with this industry. I just believe that personally, and I love that this is part of this soul mapping assessment here is that we should be looking for opportunities to help others. Because in the end, I know that when I look back at my life, my hope is that people can say, you know, he helped other people. He was there for other people. So how are you showing up? What kind of work can you do that can impact other people's lives, whether that's helping them find what they're meant to do, their purpose, their destiny, or just bringing a smile to their face. Find impactful work to do. It's going to help you as you navigate this industry. And the last one in the soul mapping is N for nature connection. Friends, Sometimes the best thing we can do is to get out of these dark rooms and go touch some grass. Get out there and connect with nature. Get out there and touch the ground. Protect the ground. This is a beautiful planet we have, you know, and it's our job to sustain it and to take care of it. So connecting with nature is a huge thing, especially for those in post-production sound industry, like I said, who spend so many hours, the schedules are nuts and crazy. When's the last time you got out there and took a hike? Gosh, man, connecting with the ocean, with the nature. I love going to 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 the to the beach. My kids love it. And every single time I'm there, I'm like, why don't I do more of this? It is stunning and beautiful to feel one with nature. Oh, ask yourself, friends, have you been spending enough time connecting with nature? If not, it's very easy for you to make an adjustment. What are you going to do to connect more with nature? So there you go, friends. Those are 10 ways that we can avoid burnout as we navigate the post-production sound industry. If you want to know more about the soul mapping and the happy hustle, go check out the stuff that Carrie Jack has on the happy hustle. It's uh, I really do believe these these points and these uh, areas can be beneficial to those of us uh, to avoid burnout in the post-production sound industry. Well, that's it for this week's episode of Mastering Post-Production Sound. If you found any of this helpful, please let me know in the comments below what stood out to you. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're new here, I have a special gift for you. Head over to masteringpostproductionsound.com slash insider's guide. And there, awaiting for you to be sent in your inbox is my guide. It's the insider's guide to navigating the post-production sound industry. This is where I share my five core principles that have helped me build a career over the past 16 years here in the post-production sound industry. Absolutely free. Yours, all you have to do is go click and sign up. Thanks, friend. And I will see you in the comments below or in next week's video.